Hi, guys. I was thirsty, so I was just getting a little drink. You know, I like to have ice in my drink, but every time I have ice in my drink, I have to use a straw because that ice just floats right up to the top. You see that? So when I try to drink it without a straw, the ice gets in the way and it's hard to drink and it makes my lips or teeth cold. So it works better with a straw. Do you do that too? You see those ice cubes? Look how they just float to the top. I can't even try to get them to stay down. <laughs> They're like little boats in there. They just stay floating no matter what I do. Isn't that funny? Huh, how curious. Hey, you wanna sing with me? You've got to think it through to find out what you can do. You've got to try something out to know what it's all about. Whether you're right or wrong, sure or not, just think it through and you learn a lot. If your brain is twisted in a knot, turn your thinker on, show what you got. You've got to dance with me. You've got to think it through to find out what you can do. You've got to try something out to know what it's all about. And that gives me a great idea. I will be right back. Sorry I took so long, but look what I made. It took a very long time. You see that? That is a big piece of ice. I put water inside of this larger container and froze it and it took a few hours to freeze. But now it's ready and I can make a great big ice boat for all my little people to go on. I'm wondering if they can float around in the water on top of this ice boat, like a real boat. Do you think it'll work? I don't know. Let's try it. Okay, so first we have to get this ice out of this container. All right, you see this? It's kind of stuck in the container. Hmm. Maybe if I pound it really, really, really hard. Hmm. It seems pretty stuck. So what could we do to get it out? Any ideas? It's so cold. It froze to the sides of this dish. Hey, I wonder if we could make the sides of the dish warm instead of cold, if the ice would come right out. What do you think? Maybe I could use the sink and just pour a little warm water on the bottom of it and see if it'll topple right out. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go try it. All right, I ran it under just a little bit of warm water for just a second, and not very long because I didn't want the ice to fall out into the sink. Let's see if it works. I have got my blue tray because I don't want to dump ice out onto the table, right? Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that, it came out so easily, right? Do you see? Oh, I think this is going to make a great boat for all of my little people. I can't wait to try it. But right now it really doesn't look very much like a boat, does it? It needs something else. What does it need to look like a boat? What about a sail? Boats have sails, like a sailboat, right? So we could make a sail and stick it into the ice and then it would definitely look like a boat. All right, what do we need for a sail? First, we're going to need a stick. I have this little popsicle stick here. This might work perfectly. Now we just need to cut out some paper or something like a triangle shape to make the sail with. Hmm, I could use this light blue colored paper. I think that would make a pretty sail, don't you? Just have to make a triangle out of a square or a rectangle. Let me show you how to do that. 
All we're going to need is a corner. So we're going to cut across here and keep one corner. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to have to attach our stick to the sail. You can use glue or tape, whatever you have at home. I'm just going to use a little bit of tape like that. And see, I have a sail. It will be perfect. Now we just have to stick it into the block of ice. Hmm. Maybe you think if we just push it really, really hard. Oh, it's getting cold in my hand. It is not going into there. This sail is not sticking into that block of ice. How can I make it attach? Do you think it would work to tape it to the ice? No, I don't think tape will stick to the watery ice. Hmm. What about if we glue it or staple it? No. Wait a minute. It's a popsicle stick. Popsicle sticks stick inside of popsicles, don't they? How are popsicles made? Ice isn't hard before it freezes. It's just water. What if we put the popsicle stick into the water before it freezes, just like the way they make popsicles? And then the popsicle stick would be frozen hard to the water, to the boat. Oh. That means I'm going to have to start all over and fill this up with water and freeze it again, huh? Ah. All right, everyone, it's time to try again. That took a long time to freeze. Do you guys ever do something the wrong way and then have to start over even when you know you worked hard or it took a long time? Sometimes it can get frustrating, right? It's okay, though because we never learn unless we just keep trying and we don't give up. So we're going to start over. I'm going to go fill this up with some water and I'll be right back. Okay, I have to hold this very carefully and not spill it. I've got my little container filled with water. All we have to do is stick this inside and go put it in the freezer. Oh no, look. Oh, just got more wet. It's not staying up in the water. How are we going to get this sail to stay straight up like this while it freezes? Do you have any ideas? Hmm, gotta think this one out. Hey, when I was a little girl, my mom used to make popsicles and she would put popsicle sticks inside of different little cups or containers to freeze them for popsicles. This is what she always used. She used something called aluminum foil, just like this. Let me show you how it works. You lay it on and you Close the edges around, press them down really tight so they don't come up, just like that. And now we're going to have to use our stick and poke a hole straight through. Uh, it's a little bit hard to push through, so I'm going to have to find something to poke a hole. Oh, look what I found. Do you see this? It's a little pipe cleaner. I know it's very pokey at the end. Maybe it can poke a hole. Let's see. Look at that. It made a small little hole. And now we can use the hole to poke this in. Oh no, I still made a big hole. That hole's too big. Stay up. Oh man. Did you see that? 
I think I might have made my hole too big because this keeps falling down. If I put it in, look what happens. It just falls. Oh, man. I don't think that's going to stay straight up at all. Now, aluminum foil might work really well for you. Maybe you made a nice small hole and maybe it works great. It always worked for my mom. But for me, I think I'm going to have to use something else because this is not staying up straight. Do you have any ideas? I need a way to grab that popsicle stick and hold it in tight, right into the center like this. What could grab the stick? <gasps> hey, what about the pipe cleaner I used? Pipe cleaners can bend and stay in the place you bend them. I wonder if it could wrap around here really tight and hold the stick in place. Let's try it. Okay, so first I'm going to take this aluminum foil off of this container carefully. This is filled with water. Maybe I need to dump out the water for now because we have to figure this out. And as soon as we get this sail to stand up straight inside of here, then we can put more water back in. But for now, I think I better dump it out. Okay, somehow we have to make this stand up inside of here have it here. I'm going to wrap it around like this on the edges. Look at that. Uh, but I've got to make it go straight like this because it's just, hmm. You know what? I think it falls off pretty easy. I'll make it straight. My pipe cleaner is not working. It keeps falling over or it pulls it up too high. Boy, I thought that would work. Did you think this would work? Maybe you tried the pipe cleaner at home and maybe a pipe cleaner worked exactly right for you. You might have wrapped it around a little better than I did. But this pipe cleaner doesn't stay put. I need something that can go around the stick and stay tight, tight, tight in place without wiggling and jiggling. Now, what do we do, guys? What can we do? If you have an idea, can you please tell me? Oh, I just thought of something. Maybe you told me. I had this whole bag of rubber bands. What if we wrap some rubber bands around the container to hold the stick in place? Let's try it. Okay, first I'm going to take it out of the pipe cleaner and set it down. Look how wet it's getting. It's okay. It will dry. I've got some of these rubber bands here. I think what I'll do is I will wrap two rubber bands together at the exact same time. Watch this. If we take two rubber bands together, pretend like they are one, put it around the container this way, now, I don't want my sail to be right in the middle. I want it to be on the side a little. So I'm going to wrap it right here on the side where I want my sail to be. Straight up and down. Just like that. All right. And now I'm going to take the other two rubber bands, put them together, and wrap them this way straight down the middle. And you see the place where they cross right here in the middle is where my sail will be. So I have to take my sail and open up the first two rubber bands, put it in the middle of those two rubber bands. See that? And then I'm going to open up the second two rubber bands and put it in the middle of those rubber bands also. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. It's working perfectly. It's standing straight up without any problems at all. 
I could even shake it. Look at that. I can shake it and it doesn't even move. I think we're ready for the water now. This is really great, you guys. If you helped me with that idea, thanks for your help. Okay, I'm going to pour the water back into the container now. All right, I've got it ready with water and with a straight sail. And if this freezes with the sail inside, then I'm sure it will stay right there inside. And we can use it as a boat. I'm so excited. All right, but this is going to take a while to freeze. You know that, right? Hey, you guys at home, when you make yours, maybe you can look at the clock and see what time it is when you put the, the ice into the freezer. And then when it's finally ready, you can look at the time again and you can figure out how long it took to freeze your boat. Do you think you can do that? I'll see how long it takes me. It's done. That took exactly five hours for my ice to freeze. How long did it take your ice to freeze? Really? Wow. Uh, but I noticed something. I don't know if you can see this, but my ice froze at an angle. Maybe I didn't set it in the freezer right, but this side is up high and this side is down low. I don't even know if it'll float straight inside of the water or if the people will stay on it. What do you think? Let's give it a try, see what happens. But look at this, it's frozen tight in there. We're gonna take these rubber bands off now. See if this sail stays up. And voila, ta-da, look at that. It stays up perfectly, it's nice and tight in there. Oh, and it's easy to pull out. Look, see what I mean? My ice boat did not freeze straight. This part came upwards for some reason. Huh, not sure why. All right, guys, I am ready to put some water inside of my big glass container so that we can have a little lake or a pond for the ice boat to uh, float in. I'm going to fill it up pretty full. I want to have a lot of water, really deep, so that ice can float in it nicely. Perfect. Okay, we're going to take our ice boat, put it on the water, and see if it floats. Do you already know what's going to happen? Will it float? Will it sink? Maybe it'll tip over. Will it turn over on its side since this is so big and it's too heavy? I don't know. Let's look and see. I can't wait to find out. Oh, it's cracking. Do you see it starting to crack? I put it inside this water and it cracked a little bit. Oh, and look, this side is sinking in the side that where it was um, up too high, it kind of tipped a little bit, so this side sunk. But I think it's still floating. Do you think it can float enough to hold our little people on? All right, little girl in a raincoat going on a boat ride. Oh, yep, just barely. She's kind of heavy though. It made it sink a little, but she is definitely floating around on that boat. Let's see if, how many we can put before it starts sinking. Can you go on too? Oh, he was too heavy. Let's try again. Nope, he is too heavy for that boat. Maybe on this top part. It looks like we can only get one person on. I wonder if these people are just too heavy. Maybe if we had really teensy tiny people, 
They could go on. Let me see what else I can find. Okay, I found these two little wooden guys. And maybe they don't weigh as much. Maybe they won't sink the boat. Let's try it. All right, this is a really cool boat. It's actually floating really well. All right, I'm going to put you guys on here. Can you stay on there? Oh, look at that! My wooden family is going for a little boat ride. Let's try blowing the sail. Look at that boat ride! They're doing so well! They're going all around the lake. <laughs> I wonder if I could get more on if I had something even smaller, even littler, so it was not very heavy at all. I got an idea. I have all these little gingerbread finger puppets, you see? I don't think that they weigh very much. I think they're very, very light. Maybe they are even lighter than our wooden people. So I'm going to see how many gingerbread men we can get on this boat before it starts to sink. Let's count. We've got one, two. Oh, oh, don't go away. I know we can get more than two. Two. They're, uh oh, go back. We don't fall off the boat. Can we get another one? Four. <gasps> Look at that. How about this one? Five. <laughs> Where can I put it here? Will he fall? Six? Oh, six got too heavy. It made him knock off. Oh, man. I guess only five can stay on there. What a neat trick. That is super fun. You know, I just thought of an idea. Wouldn't it be fun to fill up a whole bathtub and have a big place for the boat to travel? I think next time I'll do that. And next time I might even make the boat even bigger. Freeze a bigger block of ice so that more little toys can fit on top. Hey, this was so much fun. Thanks for making an ice boat with me. I love it. sing with me? You've got to think it through to find out what you can do. You've got to try something out to know what it's all about. Whether you're right or wrong, sure or not, just think it through and you learn a lot. If your brain is twisted in a knot, turn your finger on, show them what you've got. You've got to dance with me. Got to think it through to find out what you can do. You got to try something out to know what it's all about.